Hey there, baseball fans, it's Ben, and I'm back with the exciting conclusion of this box from the random box collection that I uh, purchased that I made a little while ago. Uh, this one clearly said on the top, baseball, no football. So, so far they have been correct. Pulled out a small stack of, uh, you know, some Hall of Famers and stars, uh, a couple for my PC. Uh, I think the, the highlight so far has been this uh, Trevor Hoffman Upper Deck Rookie. So that was a nice one to find. Let's see what we can find in the rest of it. Looks like I'm about to be disappointed, though, because it's not going to be baseball in a second. But maybe I'll, maybe I'll be wrong. All right, so we got a lot of 93 Upper Deck in this, a lot of 93 Clear Ultra. And... Then we get into some trouble here. We got hockey. This is 1992, 91, 92 upper deck hockey, which is not very helpful for me. I don't want to know much about it. So unless your name is Wayne Gretzky or Mario Lemieux, then I probably can't tell you much about it. And not that I imagine that there's any value in these Junk Wax era hockey cards anyway. So we'll put those aside for another day. All right, looks like we're back to baseball, thank goodness. All right. Keeping on with this 1993 upper deck. There's a Pat Mahomes. There's a Bernie Williams. Pedro Martinez, hey, that's, and that's a great looking card too. I love that shot of him there, nicely done. It is not a rookie. He has a couple upper deck cards before that, too. Okay, we got some hockey to take a look at again. Just a brief detour into hockey world. And then we get these upper deck. What year are these? These are 1999. Michael Tucker. Juan Guzman. Matt Williams. And we are all over the place. Who is this? So hard to tell. Alex Gonzalez. We've had a lot of Alex Gonzalez in here. So a nice eclectic mix of cards. There's a Lee Smith. 93 Fear Ultra. Oh, and then we get uh, the Ionics set here. Todd Walker. Juan Gonzalez. Jeremy Baronitz. Edgar Renteria. Albert Bell. And these are the... Are these the metal ones? Yeah, these are the, the Fleer Metal. Everybody seems to like these. There's Andy Pettit. David Wells. Some 92 Fleer for you. And then Prism. This Panini one like make is this just prism all right there's an eric Kiros, jeff cirillo jt snow more alex gonzalez more alex gonzalez there's an andres galarraga kenny lofton ionics andres galarraga and bartolo colon so some Late 90s, uh, interesting cards and sets there. It's a bit of a blind spot for me. I was out of the hobby at that time and got really confusing with all the different card manufacturers popping up. A lot of Phillies players here in this. It's Jeff Kent. Might be a rookie card for him. 93, yeah. Gary Sheffield. These are ordered by team, certainly. Gary Sheffield again. All right, just again, happy those aren't bricked because of both those 93 Upper Deck and the 93 Fleer Ultra often get stuck together and become just bricks of cards. I've seen quite a few of those in this collection already. Here's a Sean Dunstan for you. All right. Another one for my PC. 
as well as a Mark Grace. Look at that. This collection has been great for my PC, getting Sean Dunstan and Mark Grace cards. But no Ryan Sandbergs or Nolan Ryans, so those have been clearly pulled out as this was searched through, I'm sure, numerous times. But that's the fun part about uh, collecting cards, is that everybody collects different people. And so, even though this has probably been picked through at least once, maybe a couple times, uh, there's still some stuff in there that I like to pull. So you see a nice stack here, a little stack there for my PC. Plenty of things to keep this interesting. And maybe the next person that gets it will love Danny Tartable and they'll have all the Danny Tartables they want. Gary Sheffield, double exposure there. Yep, just a bunch of 1993 Upper Deck Commons. There's an Eckersley. Look at that old school out uh, uniform there. I really like this 93 design. I like the photography is really good. I just wish that they weren't so sticky. In hindsight, I think everybody agrees the UV coating is not the greatest idea in the long run. At the time, it was pretty exciting, though. Harold Baines, Lee Smith, Roberto Alomar. Sandy Alomar, Ozzy Smith, Jack Morris, the Blue Jays there, Greg Jeffries, Dave Stewart. Yeah, that early 90s Blue Jays team was pretty solid there. I think they, what, they won two World Series right in a row. There's some really smart pickups. There's an Eddie Murray. Yvonne Rodriguez. Sean Dunstan, another Sean Dunstan for me. Very nice. Yeah, I just love the photography in this set. All right, so 1990 Fleer, 93 Fleer Ultra, more Alex Gonzalez, a random 85 Buddy Bell, more Alex Gonzalez, all the Alex Gonzalez you can handle. Uh, Kareem Garcia, Ben Grieve, Dante Bichette, more Alex Gonzalez. Oh, there's Mike Piazza, Ivan, Ivan Rodriguez, and Jason Kendall. Nice uh, trio of catchers there. I just finished Jason Kendall's uh, book. You should go check it out if you if you uh, like to read about baseball. Certainly has he certainly has his opinions. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh, nice stack of cards here of interesting players. So a fun little break, a lot of variety. I'll see you guys next time.